Hey everybody, this is Rich, and welcome back to Making Something From Nothing. Well, today I got a little project going on, and it involves a machinist jack. So basically, this is part of a larger project, but I figured I'd do a separate video on at least making the machinist jack. And this has half 13 left-hand threads. Well, he brought me this pulley that had a larger inner diameter so I had to go ahead and make a bushing and thread that uh, left hand half 13 and it runs really really true uh, for a casting that's a pretty good pulley but now the customer decided he didn't want to go ahead and use a, a set screw down through here to lock it onto the shaft he wants me to drill this out and put a roll pin you know, which is fine. I've got some uh, 3 16 roll pins. The problem that I have is look how much stick out I have from the vise. If I come in here with a drill bit and start putting pressure, this thing's just going to tilt like that. So, I so we're going to make us a small jack. So basically the jack is going to be three pieces just like this one here. We're going to have a, a threaded piece, the nut, and the base. So if the total jack needs to be one and three quarter so we'll just put 1.75 and then we're going to have a nut and I'm going to use this nut right here and like I said I'm going to go ahead and trim this down in the lathe so this way we can assign a measurement to the nut and decide how tall we're going to make the base and how tall we're going to make the top It's pretty hard, but uh, it's cuttable. A little bit thinner anyway. Let me go ahead and get a measurement on that and we'll plug it into the drawing. Alright, so that's uh, 290. We're just going to call that uh, 300 thousandths. So if that's 0.300, gives me an idea how fat to make the top and the base. So I'm going to cut this thing oversized so this way I could put it back in the bandsaw later and be able to lop off the two pieces as needed. So I got about two and a quarter sticking out, so I'm going to go ahead and get this faced off. I need to see if this OD will fit over where I need it to, over on the mill. And 1 inch 232 is going to be too big. So we're going to take some more off the OD. And So 
we got one inch uh, 78,000 so that's going to leave me plenty of room to get over underneath of that uh, that shaft over in the mill. I would turn this down to basically a half inch diameter in order to you know cut a half 13 thread but what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and cheat so this way I don't have to spend all that time machining off you know basically the whole bar. I'm going to go ahead and drill in to about there. So we're going to go ahead and drill this out 7 16 We're going to tap it. I'm going to modify uh, one of my other half 13 taps to make a bottom tap out of it so I can get as much thread engagement without drilling all the way to the top. Because I want the top to be totally solid and not have uh, this poking up out of it making it look ugly. So. I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then I'll just turn down another piece of steel and we'll thread it uh, traditionally and be done with it. Alright, so we're at the bottom of the hole. Yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. So I'm going to measure how deep this hole is. And it's right at 5 eighths. So I'm going to cut this uh, top three-quarter piece off and we're going to call that the top of the machinist jack and then we'll work on uh, this section down here. Well my mind is starting to wander towards what the finished product is going to look like so I'm going to go ahead and put a nice neural on it so this way when I'm trying to raise that jack up a little bit I've got a nice surface to grip to rather than something smooth, oily, and slippery. So we're going to put a nice neural on that real quick. I'm just going to eyeball three quarters of an inch here and I'm going to take this in about 30 or 35 thousandths so this way I could chamfer this side and this side right here so this way it comes off finished once I cut it on the bandsaw. Once I take this over to the bandsaw, then I can go ahead and cut this to length and then hack this off all at the same time. So I think that was a good move putting that in. So we'll let the Loctite cure and we'll go cut this thing up. Well, I was thinking about it. I kind of like the idea of having this hole here. So this way, you know, if you need to insert a, a steel rod or something to go ahead and tighten this guy up. I've never used one of these, but it seems like a good idea. So before I lop this thing off, we're going to take it over to the mill. We're going to pop a like a 204 thousandths hole and 
I've got this 3 16 steel rod here and we'll use that uh, to go ahead and tighten the, uh, the jack up. So we're going to cut this uh, length right here about 750 thousandths and then leave me a little bit to go ahead and face it off and rechamp for the end. Okay. Well, there's not going to be a whole lot of travel with this machinist jack because the base is so short but it's going to work for those little jobs over in the mill. Now in order to face this off without gripping on this nice neural I put on, I could throw on a collet and hold it from here, but uh, I think I'm just going to cheat. So, should be okay. Alright. make sure I don't have any kind of pip there I'm just gonna take a center drill and just pop out that center well that's about as pretty as I'm gonna make it and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, drill it and tap it and then I'm going to counter bore it over on this side here. This is the bottom. I kind of want to make it look like this one. There's no reason for all this material to be here. The only thing that could do is let it sit there and teeter if your face isn't perfect. So we're going to relieve uh, the center and counter bore it and then tap the inside just like that one there. Well, it kind of turned out exactly the way I wanted. Looks good. I think it's going to be functional for putting the roll pin over in that shaft over in the mill. I think I wanted the size to be one and three quarter. I think the overall length is going to be just a little bit more than that. 785 thousandths and the reason for that is I had taken off two hundred thousandths to make sure I was underneath that shaft so I knew I had a little uh, room to play with other than uh, 1.75 let's go over to the mill and we'll place it underneath the uh, the shaft and see how it works I'm going to take a look at how well this sits in there
Nice. I like it.